This week, Nicola Sturgeon decided to make a speech in defense of women, even though she and her government have been constantly trying to shut down women and cancel them. This time, she was confronted by an angry voter. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful week um, because we have talked about the SMP a number of times this week. Uh, even earlier today, we talked about how they 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 are still missing or they've lost six hundred thousand pounds of donations, and the police are chasing them. That aside, this is about when Nicola Sturgeon was confronted this week by an angry voter, rightly so, because she decided to make a speech. She was pretending to be on the side of women. And she was a bit of a hypocrite, but all sides are going crazy over this. Watch this. Very strongly about much of what I'm going to say today is about male violence against women, because it is men who commit violence against women. In my uh, long experience now, most men who commit violence against women don't feel the need to change gender to do that. <coughs> Those who do, my argument is we should focus on them because they are men abusing a system to attack. Ah, so she says that it's just you know, toxic masculinity, male violence, and of course that's a problem. But then she says, well, the, the, I haven't really seen any evidence of uh, men trying to change or like pretend to change their gender to do violence and pretend that they are women. But... Then she said, well, if it happens, we'll focus on them, obviously. <laughs> that resulted in this. Shame on you. You fermented this culture in Scotland that basically tells women are bigoted for standing up for women's rights. I see you. And thousands of women from Scotland see you as well. And those of you who are sitting here complicit, keeping your mouths shut, while women have actually been raped, by males who have self ideas as women, and that's got nothing to do with trans rights. And I still okay, this is also I do absolutely love uh, the Scottish accent. Should only be uh, always be it should be used in anger. <laughs> it sounds beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There is a good point about this whole issue because it's not just about the self ID scandal that's going on, the crisis, <laughs> but it's also about the lack of free speech. You can't talk about it in Scotland. You will be arrested. And this is it. I mean, even at your own house, if you are sitting at a dinner table and if someone there decides to be offended on behalf of somebody else in a different continent, they can easily call Hamza Yusuf and he will bring the police to your living room and you will go to the police station now you have to defend yourself. And this, that's the thing. I mean, you're not really allowed to speak out. It's not really just about the self ID thing. It's also about the lack of right to be able to protest or to actually just have a proper debate the lack of debate is a problem well i hope you enjoyed the content thank you so much for watching amaya tusi and we are the media